welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman. With me now is Paul Horgan. He is a new head of school for Hilton Head Preparatory School. Welcome to Hilton Head and welcome to Hilton Head Prep, Paul. Well, good morning. Thanks for having me on today. It's, yes. uh, it's, it's fun to be over here and, and meet well, some more people. Yes, you said that you, you came here from Virginia. So what brought you to Hilton Head Prep and how are you finding it so far? So I was in Virginia Beach for the last 12 years, mm -hmm. Virginia for the last 25. And the last 12 years, I've been at a place called Cape Henry Collegiate, and it's a pre-kindergarten through 12th grade school, and I ran the high school, which we had about 450 students, and mm -hmm. this was a, a year of transition we've been looking at. My daughter's a freshman at Elon University, so shout out to my daughter, uh, <laughs> Hannah, and uh, who's going to be coming home for the first time from her freshman year of college this week, so it'll wow. be fun. But we decided uh, that we were going to do a national search for a head of school position and right. Hilton Head Prep posted their position last summer. I see. And it was about this week last year that I had finished the interview process and had fallen in love with the new community and great Wonderful. group of people. I was down for a few different visits yes. and I'd never been to Hilton Head prior had, to this. Not, but you had heard of it but you had never really it. visited. Correct. Right. So what are your impressions, your first impressions of Hilton Head Prep? So prep is a, is a magical place and a great place for kids to grow up. And I saw that when I first visited. You know, I met students who have a tremendous sense of self and they treat each other well and they're serious about their academics, but they're also, they're having fun and mm -hmm. they're involved in a lot of things. Last week was a great example where we had our homecoming week we had our, our fall play and performances up at the Main Street Theater. We had kids you know, that would jump from one role on the volleyball <laughs> team to singing in the performances to cheering for the football team and, and then going through the homecoming court. And it was, it was a good example of what prep kids do. They get involved with a lot of things. It's a school where kids aren't really put in a box, but they're allowed, they're encouraged to to try different things yeah, and to, to, you can be the, the star of the football team, but then be in the play in the spring and it's not weird, you know? The kids get to experience different you know, parts of, the, the, of yeah. life and, and it's... So it's a holistic approach too, to education. It it's is. It's about academics, but it's about experiencing so many different opportunities. It is and you know, they're, you know, the, the academic piece and the college preparatory piece is the core of it all, mm -hmm. but it is very holistic, and it is, to me, uh, a place where kids can have fun. You know, I think coming out of COVID in this country, we saw a time where kids were stressed out and isolated, and you know, they didn't know what to make of all of that. The, the adults had a hard enough time with it. So I think more than ever, it's important for schools to be places where kids can have joy places where kids can be challenged and prepared for college but also have something to look forward to coming to school every day and that's that's the kind of school that I saw when I visited and it's a it's something I want to really sort of energize even more and take to the next level and Paul you you began July 1st of this year and as we look forward um, over the next several years do you have some thoughts plans um, for for growth or for um, expansion? Yeah, well, we're, we're definitely looking at the right size, right? I think when you talk about growth in schools, that can be a slippery slope. I don't think prep will ever be a big school. Okay. Uh, assessing exactly what the, the sweet spot is is something that I'm, I'm working on. Uh, certainly looking at the campus and right now working on getting everything that we have on that campus you know, up to the highest standard possible and doing some deferred maintenance and making sure that we're taking great pride in what we have. And then next year we're going to be doing our reaccreditation and some strategic planning that will include some campus master planning and thinking about, you know, what does the next 5, 10, 15 years look like at the school. So it's exciting stuff. You know, I've been here <laughs> some days it feels like for a long time, other days it feels like five minutes. So. That's, uh, that's something that we're assessing and looking at, but I, I am excited to, to work on things that we're doing now and then looking towards the future of what, what we haven't maybe thought of. 
Very good. Well, congratulations. Welcome to Hilton Head. Maybe a few few months late, but it's wonderful that you are at the school and bringing your wealth of experience. Well, I appreciate to Hilton it. Head Prep. I appreciate it. It's, it's been a great start, and I tell you, this is a, a welcoming island where people are excited about the school. They're excited about um, our kids, and so we're having Very fun. Good. Paul Horgan, the new head of school for Hilton Head Preparatory School, right here on Hilton Head. Thanks, Paul. Thanks.